I'm in Bangkok where I spent the last couple of days in a travel conference. Now it's time for my next stop, which is Colombo, Sri Lanka. To get there, I'm flying with Sri Lankan Airlines. I one of their A321s. Uh, it's in economy class. It's only a three hour hop. Long enough though to experience the Sri Lankan hospitality. Join me, we'll do it together. Sri Lankan Airlines. We'd like to take a few moments to take you through the safety procedures on board this flight. I was sitting in row 22, which was an exit row. This meant I had heaps of legroom, but sadly not great access to a window. So the taxi and takeoff footage isn't the best, as I had to twist right around to get any sort of view. As we take off, here comes my standard plug for my Instagram page and a reminder to hit that subscribe button. This channel is a side hobby in addition to my main day job, so I don't upload as often as the guys that do this full time. I'm therefore extremely grateful and humbled by all the support everybody has given this channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Just like every other A321, this economy class cabin was laid out in a 3x3 configuration. The seats were all leather and pretty comfortable. Obviously the standout feature of my seat was the legroom. This did come at a small cost though, the lack of window being the first and the fact that the entertainment system and the tray table comes out of the armrest means that these seats are slightly narrower than standard seats. During the flight, I did manage to check out one of the standard seats and the legroom was pretty good. The standard seats also have larger and more sturdy tray tables. These seats offer a little bit of recline, but not much. They do, however, feature individual air vents and reading lights. Now, let's have a look at the entertainment system on board. Most seats had individual seat back screens, but I was in an exit row, so I had the dreaded screen on an arm, which I've never found is that good. That said, this one was okay, as was the Sri Lankan entertainment system. There were plenty of choices for this three hour flight, and I soon settled down to watch a travel documentary on Las Vegas. About an hour after departure, a full meal was served. As we were about halfway between breakfast and lunch, we'll call this one brunch. Anyway, I had the red chicken curry, which was very tasty and the perfect accompaniment to that Las Vegas documentary I was watching. The rest of the flight proved uneventful and eventually we came into land at Colombo Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at Bandanang International Airport, Colombo. The local time is 35 minutes past 10 a.m. That was a really nice flight. Bye Thank bye. you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye. So that was Sri Lankan, and as I said, I really rate them. I think they're fantastic, especially their crews, really, really good. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and then check out my channel where you'll find a whole lot of other reviews and more on the way. Do uh, hit that subscribe button as well, I'd really appreciate it. Um, while, I'm, while I've got you still, um, look, I'd really recommend that if you haven't been to Sri Lanka, to come here. It is a beautiful country, fantastic fantastic things to see and wonderful friendly people. I'll put some footage at the end of this video of uh, some of my visits here. It really is a wonderful place to visit. Uh, again, thanks for watching and as always, happy travels.